Hello, Marcus Bronzy here, and today I'm here with How To Kill An Hour to get an exclusive hands-on with the Zombie Army 4 game. Now, not only are we gonna be able to play unseen parts of the game, we're gonna be getting involved in some zombie antics, including a zombie cake and talking to one of the lead developers of the game. So, let's check it out. Hey, my name's Ryan Baker and I'm lead designer on Zombie Army 4 Dead War. The great thing about Zombie Army 4 franchise is that more and more people are get, coming to it with fresh eyes. So for somebody who hasn't heard about Zombie Army that's going to be kind of getting involved in Zombie Army 4, how do you explain it to people when they ask exactly what it is? So uh, the most basic premise is it's set in World War 2. It's just set just after the real end of World War 2. So we're in sort of this alternate universe uh, in the original trilogy. Hitler knew he was going to lose the war, so he used evil occult means to raise an army of the dead, and then the hero characters had to banish him to hell, and then they hoped that would be the end of it, but in the time in between, zombies are still roaming Europe, and uh, then things go pretty badly again at the start of this game, obviously, to make things very interesting. And it's a four-player co-op game. You can play solo. You can play one, two, three, or four-player, and ultimately, you're there just to have a lot of arcade-style fun, taking out the zombies and finding the most interesting and fun ways to dispatch of them. Yeah, so well, Sniper Elite really influenced it south because uh, the, the original was the spin-off from Sniper Elite V2. Uh, and then we've got the the brilliant gory kill cams you get from Sniper Elite. They're in here for the Zombie Army 4. And uh, we've added to that, so we've got dismemberment as well because zombies, you can rip their limbs off. And this happens just in normal gameplay anyway, but then you might get uh, a bullet cam, a slow-mo bullet cam of hitting a head and the head will just literally burst and it's great and then we've we've got all sorts of other means because we're in this like alternate history now and these survivors have been sort of fighting zombies for some time so they've come up with all these um ingenious and ridiculous ways of taking out the zombies so they've got electric gauntlets that they'll punch a zombie in the stomach and the head will burst or they'll send them flying in the distance and send arcs out to other enemies uh they'll use machetes you've got these brutal takedowns which are a way to after you've got a 10 kill combo you can get up close to any of the enemies pull off the takedown and you might use something like a knife to stab them in the head but you might end up using your shotgun put it in their stomach send them flying across the screen and that will get you ammo back for your currently equipped weapon also give you some health as well so there's this reward for getting up close and personal and pulling off these brutal kills to keep yourself going how important was that to make sure that you made it fun up close but and personal and, and you know with the kind of classic sniper distance as well and that's that's something we really wanted to to push for because see got that experience with yeah. the sniper elite series so we're like sniper rifles we want that to be a big thing um but i think it comes down to the sort of classic zombie horror thing is at a distance there's this horde walking towards you like ah it's fine i've got time to deal with these and you just use your rifle and you're popping heads here and there ripping off limbs and then all of a sudden you're actually these these, these dudes are, are really quite close to me and then you need to switch up bring out your shotgun area clear and then if you get really desperate it's down to your pistol yeah. and it's and so we really wanted to make sure that all ranges of combat felt really good really satisfying and that's really helped by all the different upgrades you can apply to the weapons like you say with the electric attachments we've got explosive ones ones that will set enemies on fire and when they're on fire they might spread that fire to other zombies that are nearby them and it's it's just great it's just um a really joyful chaotic experience to, um, taking out those hordes we can also take weapons off the zombies as well, right? Is that something we can talk about? Because yes. that was sick. Yep, that's good. You can take, you might get your normal weapons off a zombie that's just got a normal gun, but then you've got the really exciting ones, which I imagine you're talking about is our, our heavy enemies. That are, These are these big hulking enemies that are walking around with um, twin MG42s. They're just walking around there with these massive guns, or they might have a chainsaw or a flamethrower even and they're tough to take down but when you do take them down they'll drop their weapon and then you can go sneak straight in there pick it up so it adds a lot to um planning of gameplay as well because these guys might appear and you're like oh I'll clean up the easy dudes first but 
It's more fun to take out that big guy, pick up his gun, and then use that to decimate the rest of the zombies nearby. The meat locker that I played, I like some of the traps that you set out there. They're, they're really different. Yeah, we've got a lot of good traps. We've got the, uh, your typical explosive things around the place, but uh, all the survivors, they've been dealing with these zombies for some time now, so they've used all the spare parts that they could scavenge around to make up these traps. And we've got things where you shoot uh, a target spinner on the top and it will electrify the floor, which gives you a sort of safe space to be in. And any zombies that come onto it will get electrified and a lot of the grunt ones will just have their head pop straight away, which is really satisfying to see. And then we've got other things like the more over the top um, propeller, which is like the front of a plane that's been tagged up to a motor, you shoot the spinner on that and the propeller will spin around and suck in all the zombies in the area. And that's when being friendly in co-op comes into, into play there because if you're not that friendly, you can wait for your friend to accidentally walk past and shoot it by mistake and suck them in and say your apologies afterwards. But it's, there's lots of good fun moments there. Sometimes by mistake, sometimes obviously not. That was that was the real big push for this game. It's like I really wanted it just to be fun, have that kind of arcadey feel. You can drop in and just enjoy yourself a lot. And we're really inspired by those sort of 80s schlocky horror movies where they're just over the top gore um, and just silly fun. And we really wanted to sort of jump into that and make sure it that came across to the players so the whole world in itself is everyone's been very serious because obviously they're being attacked by horrible nazi zombies but to the player they'll realize there's a lot of fun and ridiculousness there and uh, lots of great nods to a lot of um, 80s horror horror movie favorites as well so i hope people will find those as they play throughout the game cheers thank you very much man appreciate it i'm gonna go play some more of the game <laughs> enjoy thank you very much Thanks.